guys, so we are back at our spot already. That almost looks like the same box we got the other day. This is crazy. What else is in there? Got our breads. Oh, nice. We need some bread. I know. I'll just take this one box. Yeah, we can, uh, at the very least, we can feed it to the birds. Oh, really? Put that in. I'll put this on it. All right, guys. So, as usual, we are at our, one of our favorite spots. I don't know if we have a favorite. If we had a favorite, it'd be Aldi's. What? Oh my God. This is what he threw out in. Are those hams? Those are hams. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna dig this whole bag. There's a bunch of chicken in there. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll dig the uh, trash out at home. We'll dig this out. You guys see this? Oh my gosh. That heavy. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. I'm rubbing the box and I don't want to. Wow. Ah! Y'all, this is the same dumpster that we got all that charcoal out of. This is some um, salad dressing. Okay, like Miracle Whip. Is anything in here? What's this box? Try that. It's heavy. I think, unless something's on it. I don't know, maybe it's just trash. Oh, this is trash. Oh, okay. Do we need any extra boxes or anything? Um, do we need any extra boxes? Oh, here. We do have that girl coming tomorrow. We may get a box for that. Oh, can you grab that? Uh, you may need to grab that thing in that purple box right there. You see it by the eggs? Okay, I'll put this box up. Oh, what? Cool. You guys know how cold it was here. It was like negative <laughs> five for the longest. Well, today, y'all, it's 74 degrees. You want the grabber? Oh, here's another one right here, too. Tell me another. Those purple package things right there. You want the grabber? Oh, it looks like there's some hot links down there, too. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, really? Should we take the whole bag? Oh, it's dirty. Okay. Y'all, sometimes we'll just take the whole bag when we know it has stuff in it, but man, we've been running out of room in our trash cans here lately. Because, <laughs> you know, you have to all the trash it is you have to throw it away you can't bring it back and dump it yeah. so we have to throw it away and geez i'm right above you with my phone oh yeah ouch look at all that is that out that box that's upside down right there put it all on this side and Whoa. close the lid yeah you guys this is a really great haul box you just take stuff out of here and put it in a box yeah all right guys we're gonna take stuff out that sack and put it in this box yes. oh okay. it's a little smoky it's all this you see all this wow whoa look at all this stuff though are you serious I should get these. <laughs> All that know. meat juice on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Mentos. I mean, yeah. I want his cart for it. Man, our kitties are gonna be so happy. That's what they're gonna be. 
I still gotta go down there and get that box. In get there. that other stuff. All right, y'all. So we are gonna go ahead and go. We're gonna finish getting everything. We'll just see you once we get home to show you everything that we got. Is this a good haul, babe? Oh, it's killer. killer. Great haul, you guys. Good haul. All right, guys. Babe just decided to get in, get some stuff. So it'll be a little bit quicker. Oh, wow. Yes, it is. It's one fly in there. There is? Yeah. I was just about to say that. It's like you got a little friend. Oh. All right, guys. So we are just getting back home. Wanted you to see everything that we got. Then we can just get right into it and start. I guess we can start on this end. We got some of the Beef Little Smokies. I was talking to someone in the comment section about making little pigs into blankets, one of my favorite little snack foods. And we definitely have quite a bit of that right now. Huge amounts. Let me see how many we have or try to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, so 18. So we have 18 packs of these. That's great. I don't know how many come in a box, but that's a that's a good amount. They all expire tomorrow. Same date on everything. Yeah. So all of them expire tomorrow. I guess they thought they were going to sell way more than they did. We have some. Oh, this is uh this is the corn beef. These little packets we got. That's the corn beef. And you guys know we have a ton of corn beef in the freezers so that's interesting little packets of corn beef one two three four five five little packets for those people that care about expiration dates march 20th of 21 so we still have quite a bit of time with that but we'll probably just throw it in the freezer Okay, we also have some bacon again. We have two packs of the farmland and one pack of the Hickory Country. I think we've tried this one and it is really, really, really good. It's a good bacon, but I mean, you know, almost all bacon is good bacon. So another three packs of bacon uh, for anyone interested in the expiration used by May. 20th I believe so still have quite a bit of time with that as well but we're going to go ahead and stick all these in the freezer also we have some smoked white turkey two packs of those and these are one pound little containers so got two of those that'll make some sandwiches but if you need some more sandwiches we have this Eskridge uh, thin sliced turkey breast and let me just show you how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total used by tomorrow or no, day after tomorrow. So seven of those, that's cool. We have a Lunchable. This is the Turkey and American Cracker Stacker with a nice little Reese's in there. Ooh, and a Capri Sun. I love Capri Suns. Okay, we have two of the best choice salad dressing. And I believe this is just like a, what is this? Because it actually does have a salad on here, but also has a sandwich. So I'm thinking close to like a sandwich spread. I'm not really for certain what's going on here. So I was thinking it was close to like a mayo, but I really don't know to be honest. So we have two of the salad dressings. We have two three pound logs of the ground chuck beef and this is 80-20 and we got like two more of these yesterday or either day before yesterday but we have someone that specifically asked us for beef so we will probably be gifting those. We have two of the carving board ham. You guys know the carving board is just a little bit thicker so we have two packs of that here. We have a huge container 
of the, what is this, uh, sourdough pretzels. They're pretty thick too. They actually look pretty decent. Huh. Looks pretty good. This is a huge little container. It says one pound, 12 ounce. So yeah, this would be good for snacks or whatever. Pretzels are really good. I like them. We also have some Johnsonville brats. And we have original, original uh, sweet Italian sausage. And original. So four of those. Three original, one sweet Italian sausage. I think that would be pretty good with some peppers and onions or some coarse mustard like I see they have right here. Sounds pretty good. We also have some of this pulled chicken. It says with the sweet and smoky Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Now these little containers are super convenient because you can just take this out and then microwave this in the little tray. It should be pretty good. I haven't tried this one. I don't mind taking that coupon though. Um, huh, got the directions on there and everything. Okay, we have one, two, three, four of those down there. And like I said, that looks pretty good. The way they have that sandwich made up is pretty good. At the very least, I'm gonna take these coupons. Fun fact, I used to be a couponer. I used to love to coupon. I thought I was really saving money. I was doing well until, you know, we start getting stuff for free. And then you it's really hard to beat that. Can't find a coupon for free, but I will probably take those just in case. Okay, we have some Johnsonville Polish sausage, little kielbasa, made with 100% premium pork as opposed to not premium pork. Okay. So, got that. We also have some hot links. One, two, three, four. Comment down below if you guys are hot link people. I am not. I don't dig hot links because I don't really like hot stuff like that. However, huh? Oh, I know. However, I see that this was made in, is it Hereford, Texas? So, that's not too far from us, Texas at least. Uh, made with beef, pork, and mechanically separated chicken. Mmm, that just sounds good. It is fully cooked, so I guess all you have to do is warm it up. And four of those, four in each pack, so we got 16 hot links. Now, one of the stars of the show. Okay, so yeah, we have these butt portion hams. Expired two days ago, or one day ago. But, I mean, they're all super cold. So we have three of the butt portion and then one of the shank portion. So four more hams to add to the family. Then let's get into this chicken. Okay, so now let's get into this chicken. We have one, two, three packs of the chicken thighs here. And one, two, three, four, four packs of the chicken drumsticks. Then one more pack of the hamburger meat. You guys know last time we got some hamburger, it kind of looked like this as well. I don't think anything is wrong with it though. I think it was just frozen and it's been unthawing. Something like that. And last but not least, we got packs and packs. I said packs. We got, what are these called? Loaves and loaves of bread. This is just some that I put on the counter. The rest of them are still in the box because I just didn't want to take them all out for the video. I just put them all back in, but lots of loaves of bread. I think we have about 10 total. Say hi, Mercy. All right, guys. So this is what we got in totality. Quick little overview pan for you guys. This was quite a good haul, quite a big haul too. Lots of meat. Hi, Gracie. Lots of meat, lots of other stuff in here, so I would consider this a smashing success. Speaking of smashing, smash that subscribe button. Um, Go ahead, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye, guys.